Now, just to wrap up this uh, uh, detailing series of uh, tutorials, this is how I've organized my sheet. Now, you might organize it different, and that's fine. Um, all depends on, again, what the studio staff are looking for. But uh, you can see I've got my 1 is to 50 building sections here, and here's the little thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go into that view. It's on the sheet, but I'm going to right-click into it and activate the view. And I'm going to take various items like this here. These are this is the kitchen and stuff like that. I should really turn this off to be honest with you uh, in the view. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just taking those kind of items like that. Look, I'm right clicking and I'm saying override graphics and view by element and half tone. Apply and OK see the way they're kind of now sitting in the background. Don't need to do that to the stairs because it's in section. And I'll deactivate that view. Okay, now moving across to my 1 is to 20 uh, wall section. So here's the full wall. And um, using that technique of um, selecting all the items. And again, I'll activate that view look. I'll select all of these items. I'll filter them. I'll check none and the only things I'm interested in here are the detail items and maybe a couple of lines here and I'll go OK so they're the only ones selected I'll put those onto the copy clipboard and that will allow me then to um, I'll just escape out of that and um, deactivate the view and then if I activate the 1 is to 20 section I can now paste these to the same place and that puts them into position there. So I'm getting a really strong connection now between uh, what's happening in my building from the 1 is to 50 to the 1 is to 20 to the 1 is to 10 callouts from that.